Hey there, Sharon Ronald from here. Welcome to number 37 of our fundamental supersized business strategies. Today I want to talk about something I call the timeline strategy. This strategy is one where we actually do a timeline for our business. It's important that we capture and keep track of historically the things that we do to build and grow and supersize our business. Have you ever implemented a project in an organization, whether you worked in corporate America or had your own business, where you tried something and it failed miserably, so you abandoned it only five or 10 years later for somebody to bring it up again. Now we wanna have historical perspective, and that's why I say document everything and write things down so that you learn the lessons that you need to learn from the things that work as well as the things that don't work. And then we keep doing more of the things that work and less of the things that don't work. Or we wait for technology and times and markets to change in order for a particular strategy or effort or project or product to be successful. A lot of times it's just a timing issue. We want to launch a product, but our customers aren't ready for it yet. We want to launch something into the market, but technologically it's not really feasible for us to produce that product in an efficient and effective way that will serve people in the way we want to. So I am an avid believer. I share this, I call it the lifeline exercise in our Let's Grow Annual Challenge. I do an annual challenge every year uh, for something. This year's is about growth, growth and development, which, you know, we want to grow and supersize our business. So it kind of fits with that as well. But we call it the lifeline exercise for the challenge because we're looking at our personal experiences. With respect to our businesses, we call it the timeline exercise because we start at the date of either idea or inception or the day we started our business. And then we actually have a historical or if we're looking back and creating it or and as things happen, we document them. So we have like a customer, a customer, a company person that's in charge of keeping track of our timeline, keeping track of our history, documenting and keeping track of the things that we do in our business in order to not lose the lessons that we've learned. Guess what? When we have to relearn lessons, it's expensive and time consuming. And sometimes it's actually heartbreaking because it's something that we just forgot that we tried before and the times haven't changed enough to make it a viable option. So curious, have you ever done or do you have a timeline for your business to look back historically and see? We use it for the overall organization, as well as for different functions in the organization, because how things specifically impact each, you know, marketing and sales and production and quality and sanitation, it's different for each department. So each department keeps its own history timeline and documentation, as well as we have somebody that keeps it for the entire organization. It's just like documenting your quality systems or other systems. It's important to keep track of and learn lessons so that we're not continually repeating the same mistakes. I don't know about you, but there's plenty of mistakes to be made. I don't want to repeat the same ones over and over and over again. All right, that's our, <coughs> excuse me, strategy for today. Love to know if you do anything with this and if you have or if you've ever thought about it. I know in my personal life and in my challenges, we do that, but as well, uh, I think it's important that we do it for our businesses. We do it in history, we learn it in school. Why not apply the lessons that we learn to other areas and aspects of our life, especially when we're growing and building and supersizing our business. That's it. Have an awesome day. Any questions, hit me up. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow with another fundamental supersizing business strategy. Have a great day.